school, the integration is happened every day and inclusion. One of way is the Roma language as a working language among children. And I think this is the way how to integrate and we do it. Slovakia has one of the highest number of Roma people in Europe. They represent around 8% of the population. Here their life expectancy is 15 years lower than the national average. Only 28% of children attend high school. This is the ghetto of Moldova nad Bodvu, about 25 kilometers southwest of Kulshidze. Families survive on government benefits. Of the 750 people who live here, 420 are children, each worth 22 euros a month. Some residents live in houses and pay rent to the local government. For the rest, illegal huts with no water, no power and no sewage system. And Moldova is no exception. The latest survey of the Roma community dates back to 2004. It listed more than 100 segregated settlements only in just the region of Kosice. At a national level, the number nearly tripled. Here children have to walk about two kilometers to reach the nearest school. Despite the distance, enrollment is high. Social benefits for parents are determined by their child's attendance. The problem is that they are not placed to the kindergartens, where they could learn basic hygienic habits, discipline, and then uh, the first grade at elementary school would be, would be much more easier for them but they are not accepted in the kindergartens here in Moldova. This is why the Center of Sustainable Development, ETP, has organized preschool classes to integrate Roma children into primary school. These lessons are crucial for their development, as a large percentage are still being placed in special schools for mentally disabled or all Roma classes. This creates a profound disadvantage, according to experts and parents. Roma children don't have the same opportunities as non-Roma kids because it's difficult for them to go to school. It's difficult for them to speak, read and write in Slovak. But also Roma parents should make an effort to encourage children to go on studying. A project in 2008 showed that integration is possible. The students at a school in Kremnica experience that every day. Kremnica, in the heart of Slovakia, has about 300 Roma residents in a population of over 5,000. Here, the private secondary school Zeferen Jimenez Mala is open to Roma and non-Roma children, and it specializes in preparing marginalized students for academic education. School children, Roma and non-Roma children are educated in Slovak language, English, and also in Roma language. They they also have a subject uh, Roma history, and I think this is the way of integration. And this is a specific of this school. I have never uh, done before this kind of work, even though I am a Roma person. For some of Jana's fifth-year students, a mixed class is a totally new experience. 17-year-old Nicola has spent all her previous years in a Roma-only school. The change wasn't easy. At the beginning, there were some looks that made me feel weird. I had to build relations. I thought I would have been rejected. But it's not true. The non-Roma are normal, and we became friends. This school offers children a place to learn and play. After school activities include art and music, they are encouraged to develop their personal talents. Students are given opportunities and equal access to quality education. Our goal is teaching Roma children in mainstream education, because usually Roma kids are placed in special schools where they can get only the equivalent of four years education in nine years, which is not economically viable. Improving the Roma situation has become a social and economic priority for the whole of Europe. The integration of Roma children and youth was high on the agenda during the latest European platform for Roma inclusion last June. The European Commission published a progress report that pushed member states to implement their national Roma integration plans.
National and European coordination is key to solving a complex problem, according to Jan Hero. The former head of the Zeferin Jimenez Mahler School, he is now working on Roma integration for the Slovak government. It's not just education. To solve the problem, you also have to tackle housing, employment and health. It's important to remove these obstacles to education access. These barriers come from the family, from the Roma community and from society. Discrimination and unequal access to education will continue the cycle of poverty within the Roma community unless these barriers are broken.